Houston, Texas. That's where we at. Out here. Hot as a mug right now. Literally 88 degrees. We're sitting in the sun. Got me feeling about 98. We're gonna follow the dude in the white car. And I'm out here where you know the Travis Scott concert was. Such a damn tragedy, my man. Damn tragedy. I got my own thoughts on it. I guess one day maybe I get on the live or something and talk about it, but it's always deeper than it appears. You know what I'm saying? You know certain things you can't even talk about on goddamn YouTube anyway, so I might pass on that. Well yeah, I'm picking up a stage. Um I thought it was the one right there to the left of me. You probably can't see it, but it ain't that one. Hopefully it's all folded up and ready to go. Nice. Talk about a nice run. Down here, all the way to goddamn Quebec, Canada. As y'all see on the map, 2,000 something, something miles. And KB, how much, how much a load like that pain? What don't you like to know? Definitely would like to share it with you, but you know. Some things just need not to be stated. Just know we getting all the money. Right, let me holler at old buddy, let me know which one I'm supposed to pick up. They gave me a number. One of those, one of those four over there. Yeah, one of those, yep. Yeah. Alright, thank you. So one of these four is mine. I got here before the other three drivers. I guess they still running it up, doing other loads. Um, I'm not sure which one it is, so I'm gonna have to look at the paperwork. Hopefully I don't gotta slide my tandem. Hopefully it's this nice short one right here. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. Let me check to see what's going on. Hello, what's the name of the trailer? R, R E nine, some, 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 some. See if it's this right here. Uh, can't really tell because they don't have a traditional trailer number, so you really gotta figure it out. R E, maybe they put the lights to plate. R E, that ain't it. Is it the flatbed? Did they get me the flatbed? R E, nah, that ain't it. Don't tell me it's this one. Hell yeah. Damn, bro. Had to be the looking like the heaviest one, to be honest. The longest one. The most complicated looking one to get the landing gears up. I never worked on this one. But this is it right here, man. Let me back up under her and see what the hell going on. Yeah, they made me have to put on the wristband. I put on the wristband to be in the damn lot for less than 10 minutes. And ain't even nobody in here. Kind of, kind of strange. But I don't know who's in tune with energy and who's not in tune with energy. But when I pull into the lot, man, it feel weird, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. It feels weird out here. And just to know that you got casualties still taking place weeks after the damn concert, that just lets you know how wild it was. It was wild out here. I don't really like Travis Scott like that. I don't know. Tell me what I'm missing. Am I too old? I'm probably too old. I'm probably too old. I don't, I don't like his music. I don't know. I don't like Matt Bottom. I don't like his face. I like his accomplishments, though. I like the fact that your influence is so damn big. You got a huge influence, bro. You know what I'm saying? How you using it, though? Well, that's a whole nother topic, though. How you using your influence, boy? Hey, Mr. Scott, I'm hollering at you. How are you using your influence, man? You know what I mean? Shit is wild, but I would never blame somebody for other people's actions. There's only so much you can do. I get that. I'm not oblivious to that. But sometimes you gotta use that influence for the betterment. I'm just saying. Alright, so this is a new trailer. I did a few mobile stages. See, clearly he got the crank, so he good to go. Easy squeezy. But over here, I don't know. Why it look like that, bro? It look motorized to me. 
But I don't see the handles over here. Charlie, you bro, you be having to figure out these trailers on the fly. I don't know. It kind of look motorized, but in a way it don't. So I'm trying to figure this out. Because it's my first time pulling this one. I did the other stage where they got the motor controls back here. So I'm going to go ahead and lift this off. I walked around the whole trailer. I don't see it. Well, it looks like that might be right there. Let me see. Passing this side would be this side. Nothing ain't happening. Well, let's just say driver, passenger, right? Nothing ain't happening. Is there a switch or something, man? Look on the inside. Stage right, stage left, all that foolishness, man. How you work this, dog? I ain't it. It might be it, but maybe I just need to hit the switch to get it to be activated. And that's the thing, they just be assuming that drivers know how this shit go. Now how you just gonna assume? How you just gonna assume that we know? Uh, you know what I mean? Touch me, no none of that. What the hell is this? That turns that on. Come on, man. Clearly, that's above my pay grade. See if that did something else though. We got some over here too. What's this? Oh man. Alright, so if, I, if KB got some common sense, it's almost like when you stepped on the accelerator. No, or maybe like when you're in a boat. I don't know if any of y'all ever drove a boat before right you push this up a little bit and it create like you stepping on the gas you know what I'm saying so now you hear it it's not idling anymore it's like my foot is on a pedal so if that's doing that I think that should give it power so let's just stand back you know what I'm saying because if it's a casualty Nah, let me not even say that. I don't want to wish those type of things. Hold up. Alright. So this should give it some power. Passenger driver. I just need to go down a little bit. You see that? Just a little bit. Let's see if it moves. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yes, sir. Well, that's going up. It's going up. I got to push it up before it go down. Oh, yeah. There you go. You good? You getting it? Push them down at the same time. Look at that thing that move. Look at that thing. Got cold a little bit. That should be good right there. Let me back up under the thing. She's hey man, you gotta have common sense out here if you're trying to be out here power only, man. Don't be out here goofy. All hooked up and ready to shake. Let me see. I got about. Five hours and twelve minutes on my clock. Probably gonna do another two hours and then shut it down. Flashing lights. She was going on, man. Oh, he got his ass up out the way. He's been there for a minute. I don't know what was going on with him, but. I'm at the border, made it here in peace. Hoping that this is a smooth transaction. You know how it goes. My first time crossing at nighttime though. And I don't know, that dude in that car ain't supposed to be on this side. This is commercial vehicles only. So I don't know, he probably ain't some shiznit that he need to try to work his way out of. Better him than me. Scan my paper, let me get up out of here, man. I was gonna ask if I 
got the, you know, if I got that thing thing on. Like, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, yeah. That'll be the wise thing to do. But yeah, you know, smooth through here. Got enough for about 45 minutes to go so I get to that empty lot. Drop the thing off and then start shooting to my next pickup, which is about two hours away. Hour and 45 minutes, something like that. And that's going to be taking me, taking me back down south, close enough to the crib, get me home. I'll latch out when I get to the lot. Pull up on the property like your issues going on, man. Nice and quiet out this mug. Not a damn person here. Stage line to the left of me. That's the name of the place. Just gonna drop it at one of these. Trying to figure out where the best place to drop it. Drop it. I'm gone. Ain't that cold. I remember one time I came out here, man. I'm talking, you talking about cold, bro? Like, it was a different level of cold. Right now, we good. It's nice. I can deal with this hoodie, but swing around, back up, and unhook. Shit, a little dark. Can't see nothing behind me. Nothing at all. Gotta make sure. I'll take it over the damn curve. But I like being by myself. Mm. Like, I like peace and quiet. I like... It's like I'm a loner, bro. I like... I do better and come up better and I make money and do a lot of... I do everything better, bro, just being by myself. Mm. Know what I mean? Like... Finally finished up. Nice, nice little tour. Went all over the place, you know? Texas up to Canada, left and right. Um, I say it's been about three weeks or close to three weeks or something like that. Now it's time to go sit it down for three weeks, you know, two and a half, three weeks. Just gotta create that balance. But Dolph definitely described me the best way possible. Like that's exactly how I feel, man. It's just like being able to find something that I could do, stay out the way, stay to myself and get to the money, it ain't no better feeling, man. You know? Going back home in the green, 15K plus, two, three weeks after, you know, two, three weeks gone, right? Like, like all to myself. Ain't, ain't, ain't had nobody put no hand out, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody help. They didn't need it, they didn't ask for it, they didn't want it. Doing it by yourself. I know this is what keep me out the way, keep me out of trouble, you know? As long as you find your niche and, and do what will suit you best. Don't get it twisted, this ain't for everybody as far as like just moving by yourself, moving real militant, you know? Some people need that, that, that company around to keep you functioning. Me, shit, I think best by myself. It's a fact been plenty of situations where I had company around and I was trying to make a decision but I couldn't make a decision because too many opinions at the moment you know you hearing too many different voices so when I move by myself there's only one voice the dominant voice and the voice that I always gonna lead me the right way so this is how I do it my thoughts right now I'm currently in North Kakalaki about 45 50 minutes away from the crusade you know we're gonna shut it down. But hey yo, if y'all subscribe to the channel, I appreciate you. If you're not subscribed, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. You know, hit the like button. Video's gonna stay coming. I got some more content, some some real stuff I need to talk about. Um we're gonna we gonna we're gonna tap in on that sometime later this week. If you made it to the end of this video, I appreciate you man. So, I'ma go ahead and highlight y'all on the next one. You did one time.